Chewy, how are things going? Are you enjoying yourself? This is Chewy's, um, let me turn off this noise here, but this is Chewy's fourth or so time on the show, I mean on the show, on the treadmill, and you see how well he's doing, and he's adjusting so incredibly well, and I'm so pleased by this. Um, I have health struggles, and it's really hard for me to do daily exercise, even though I'm just 30. Uh, so this has just been an absolute relief because I have felt so bad knowing that Chewie has not been able to get the exercise that he deserves, that he needs because of my physical limitations. So seeing this treadmill and got a really great uh, deal on it. And it is called, so you can see it, Pet Sight. It's so great. Uh, basically, what we've been doing is two 20-minute sessions a day. The other day, he got, I did two, and I think one of them was 25. The first was 20, and the second was 25. The next day, he was really tired after that, so I decided to kind of tone it back. I thought it might be a little too much too soon um, and was able to, I think, right, yesterday we did just 20 minutes at night, just a few hours before he went to bed. That was something that was in the Pomeranian guidebook that I got, and I think that was pretty good advice. Uh, so as you can see here, 10 minutes is how long he's been on. That's the distance that he's been walking. And then here in a minute you'll see, yep, 13.7. Uh, that's the calories, I believe, that he's burned. And then the 1.0 is how the speed. So he's going one miles per hour. That's the scale that this particular treadmill does its distance in instead of kilometers. But Chewie's really taken to it. Now when I do put him down at first, he kind of stands up and gets up on his back legs, puts his front paws on me, like, pick me up. But then I just gently put him back down, put my hand on his back ever so gently, and um, so he'll sit there. The machine starts off very slow, and then you can control it with this control, this controller. So here you do the plus, minus, it goes up a tenth of a... Um, Ah, mile per hour. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry about that. And then you have the mode button so I can switch it to see what I want to see. There's the distance. There's the time. And then P is program. I have not figured out how to get the program running quite yet. And then there's a master switch which uh, turns it off, which is right down here. Um, I haven't figured out how to do the programming yet, but we'll try to keep everyone informed. By the way, this is the stop button, so this immediately will stop it. And just like with a human treadmill, the minute this red line comes off of the, of the magnet, it will immediately stop the treadmill. But he's just done so well adjusting to this, and we're really happy. By the way, the blinking light, it's not an early Christmas. That is his training e-collar. And I'm just using that uh, because we've had some barking episodes. And that is vibration only is what we're using vibration and it can it has a very it has a great range of intensity so the more range you have the more you know you have to play with and stuff I'm not I've just done it enough to get his attention and it feels just like a your cell phone vibrating in your pocket that's all that is on his neck it has gotten his attention that's all that I want to do just let him know hey uh, we don't want you doing that behavior. But the point of the getting a treadmill, the more exercise, I'm not sure if anyone has been watching, but I do. And I don't know how good my voice has come through because I've had my hand over the mic. But anyway, um, I'm less important. More important is seeing the beautiful Chewy up here. But if you watch Jack George's uh, YouTube videos, he's a dog trainer on YouTube, very successful, and I bought his book. One of the things that he's big about is how often your dog gets to exercise better behavior that'll take your behavioral issues down chewy doesn't really honestly have a lot of behavioral issues it's really just been this barking that's been going on otherwise he's been really great i mean he's just a really great dog he's a sweet sweetheart uh, he's feisty too so i'm hoping to be able to let him run around and play a little bit after this as a reward um because i'm feeling up to that i'm hoping by the time he's done i still feel up to that 
but it, this has been, so his behavioral issues has really been barking. I've taught him how to sit. He's very good about that. Um, the, he is very picky with his treats. The only treat that he likes is chicken. Hello, Chewy. Um, that's really the only thing. Nothing, nothing from the store. No treats could entice him. And he's really big. When he knows that you're bribing him for something, he immediately is like, I won't be bribed. That's his whole thing. He's very smart that way. Uh, so it takes a lot to, we did not have to do any treat, though, to get him to use this treadmill. Put him on it started it and he's gone he's gone for it i've seen some other videos around the uh around youtube where people have had to maybe entice their dog but he has really been quite great at this and i might be able to increase the speed just a little bit i the most he's done i believe we got him up to a two but i i thought that was maybe a little bit excessive the main goal i and the reason i'm putting it up is just how close he's being able to get to the front of it i don't know how important that is but you have a little distance just because I'm wondering if it's as challenging but he seems to be enjoying himself and he's such a sweet sweet dog he's born in November of last year so he is now nine months old I think that if I'm, I'm terrible at math but I think that is correct still I still am like keeping him a month younger than he is now he's 10 months old oh my gosh you're 10 months old um I'm doing that I think because I just time goes by so fast and I'm really loving all ever cherish every moment with Chewy uh, he's had a lot of struggles just in his early life and he's finally this is the healthiest he's ever been in his whole life he's been literally loved and um, held back to life more on that uh, another video another time but so to see him just up here on this treadmill is so wonderful because there were times when we first got him I didn't even know if he had the inner he had he didn't wouldn't have had the energy to have gotten up here on this treadmill. So it's amazing that he's even able to do this. Um, I'm very pleased to see him up here because I know how far he's come. He literally when he first got with I brought him home, he he slept all day, every day, which is understandable. He was four months old or um, sixteen weeks old, yeah, when we got him and he was very, very sick, very, very sick, and couldn't get up, couldn't do any of this, couldn't have even walked on a treadmill. Took him up, and it took him a week before he was with, with us to even start to bark or uh, do any of that. Then he got, so that's just a whole other story, but so the point of this video is just so you can see how great this treadmill is, how wonderful he's acclimated to it. He's supposed to get, according to the book, and many of you'll read two, two walks twice a day. This is really easy to get done. And he's doing it inside where he's safe. He's a very little dog. I don't know if you can tell on the, he's a Pomeranian, which is already a small breed, but Chewy is just 4.8 pounds. So he's not even five pounds. And so for him to be outside walking around is very dangerous. Um, I live around a lot of wildlife. We have foxes. And as you can tell, Chewy looks a lot like a fox. He's a fox faced Pomeranian. So I worry very much that a fox will come and perhaps think that he's their child, take him away, hurt him. Um, I actually am familiar with a story in which someone was just walking their um, Jack Russell Terrier and they were attacked by a uh, wild animal. I, I'm forgetting, I believe it was a fox and a poor dog almost lost his life. Thankfully, it was, took a lot of surgeries, but he was able to make it. I don't want anything like that to happen to Chewy to begin with. So this, is, this has just been a really great tool so that he can be safe inside uh, because of my health limitations and be able to get exercise without me having to walk. I'm hoping one day I feel up to that and it's not because of that that I have to you know, he has to suffer. That's the main goal. Look at him giving us a smile. Hi, Chewy. Hi, baby. Um, you see how his little ears work. He's such a special dog. He way his ears work, he moves them to hear you. He's got, he just so special. And everyone who encounters him loves him. And I'm so blessed and honored to have him in, in my home. He's beautiful. And uh, he's loved very much by his family. We all love him very much, don't we, Chewy? So there you go. There's Chewy. 
He's at a 0.28 now. Gonna run through it just one more time before we shut down the video. I'm not gonna show you his whole walk. Just to, just trying to get you guys the point of what he can do. There he is, 29.2 calories. I need to burn that. 1.2 speed, 18 minutes, 42 seconds. So he's about done. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Chewy, say thank you to all your fans. Aw, <laughs> I love you, baby. <laughs> Have a good one.